was on the bench. On the bench. First I was renting, now I'm collecting rent. Run it up. First it was the beamer, now I want the bench. Spending all the back, like here I go again. I go again. Outside says the chirp, now the camera phone. Told you I'ma make, keep the channels on. Why you acting different when the camera's on? Why you why you acting different like your paper long? Eight day wake up and I thank God. Bad decision got you wishing you could say nah. I say the gritty, you could get hit any day now. Oh my mom. It is Joey right here back with another video. Please make sure to like, subscribe, because today I'm gonna teach y'all how to do a back lever. The back lever is a very, not very advanced, but it's up there in difficulty. It's gonna cost. It's gonna use a whole bunch of your back muscles your lower back your upper back it's gonna require a lot of wrist flexibility so make sure to stretch and stuff before you actually start doing this i realized in the supinate grip when you're like this it's gonna really stress your elbows the right in the ditch your elbow in order to keep your arm straight and most people don't that sternum strength already developed so it'd be a lot easier if you go to a pronated grip where you don't have to have it doesn't stress that elbow the el the ditch your elbow as much as it does is the supinate grip so that's what i'm gonna teach y'all today before we get to the exciting part of the video, which that's going to be the actual back lever where you're actually doing, looking cool and shit and being a straight line upside down. First, you have to do requirements. And in order to do requirements, you're going to start with the the tucked lat pull down. And I want you to be able to do at least five to eight of those and knee raise holds for at least 10 to 15 seconds before moving on to the actual workout, which I have planned for y'all. And then if y'all can, once y'all get that down, and if y'all can't do it right now, y'all can do like a four sets. Y'all can do like a quick little workout, probably take like 10 minutes, four sets each workout with the, we're trying to get the required amount of time, but it's go as high as you can. If y'all can't do that, just keep, go down more sets each week. And then after that, y'all be fucking back lever making machines, but not before you do the workout. So get that and I'll see you on the other side. The first exercise we're gonna talk about is the back lever negative. You're gonna have your hands neutral grip you're gonna go to that tuck lat pull down just like you've been practicing you're gonna bend back and you're gonna extend your body like you're gonna upside down deadlift y'all ever done deadlifts where you're just you know you're lifting the bar and shit well you're gonna do that with just your body and you're gonna do an upside down deadlift where your body's backwards and then you're going to lower yourself as slow as you possibly can and while keeping your core tight your back tuck your back tuck in your chest up and then you're going to lower yourself as far as you can back down to that neutral position as much as you can try to hold it as long as you can and then go down but if you can't do that i still got you because the next thing is going to be the single leg back lever negative and in this you're going to be doing it in essentially the same thing except you're going to have one leg tucked so with this it's going to be a little bit easier but you have to really focus on keeping your core tight like i said in the other training the other exercise and then keeping your chest up and your back straight as a pencil and you're gonna lower yourself down with one leg tuck the entire time. Make sure not to raise your leg or lower it to make it easier. Try to keep it as straight as possible as you're going down. And then the next exercise we're gonna, I'm gonna talk about is the back lever tuck. And this, you're not gonna be going into that position where you're gonna be all the way up into that deadlift position. You're just gonna be, you're gonna be, you're gonna do a tuck like pull down except this time you're gonna go all the way. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And you're gonna go, all the way back and then you're going to just hold yourself there keep your abs tight just like in the single leg negatives and in the front lever negative and you're going to keep your chest up and keep your knees locked in as as much as you can if you can you can try to get your knees where they're out a little bit more where you're holding a little bit more weight it's a little bit more resistance on your body because i'll make you stronger and stronger as you move on to these things and then the last progression we're going to talk about is skin the pussy really nigga see no i mean the cats but skin the cats you're going to be in that same position except for this you're not going to tuck your knees you're going to be in that on the bar and then you're going to twist over with the lat pull down the tuck lat put on like i said but this time you're gonna let your feet just fall so you're in an easier position and then when you're doing this you're going to raise yourself keeping your core tight your chest up and you're going to lift yourself into that roll over almost halfway like you're doing a untucked lat pull down like you're doing the reverse of it except you're not i hope that makes sense and then you're going to go back down where your legs let your legs just dangle there you know what i'm saying like flaccid and then you're gonna lift them back up they're gonna get hard you're gonna be bricked up what did you say nigga? and then you'll get flaccid again 
bricked up flaccid y'all got this shit this process could take a while like there's really no telling how long it might take for you but for me it took about three weeks to a month but you also got to think i've also been doing this for a while so i mean i had a little bit experience my muscles that probably work out for that exercise are probably already strengthened in order to do that exercise so with that being said be patient trust the process put in the work i would do this about two or three times a week and then y'all see the gains y'all get big and shit you know what i'm saying you'll have those back muscles looking big as hell i don't know if you heard that i don't have a mic yet i'm planning on getting one eventually but you don't have those back muscles look, looking big as hell and really nothing else i gotta say so and i hope you enjoyed the workout like i always say please subscribe to my channel if you want some more content and like i always say stay hungry stay driven now i'm in the game i was on the bench on the bench first i was writing now i'm collecting